put some straws there. And the second one, moving on to. Again, is this Allies cocktail? Stir drink. 1930, Harry Craddock. Equal measures of every single ingredient goes into this drink. So, first of all, we're going to have our vodka. So, we're going to use some good vodka. Followed by the Russia, the drink, good old England. We're going to have some gin. A little bit of flavour, some kummel. Now, kummel obviously is available throughout a place like Germany. We've popped in Russia and made there one time. Has that cumin and caraway character. It will work with a sweetness to it, the good flavours. And then finally, our French drink. If you hear a noise out there, that was someone at the back where I gave a Russian cocktail too early and I stamped my foot in the proof again. That is absolutely beautiful. So I've actually seen vodka in the bars going off the shelf quite a lot. You can see more and more when I go down to bars that less and less you see the vodka appear on the back bar. There's some flavour, as I said. Flavour vodka is very, very important that it kind of brought back the... It ignited the interest again, once again, in gin, which I think is really, really crucial. And today we've got such a growing and building gin market. I said this is very similar, although it predates the De Vespa Martini, it's similar to De Vespa, apart from the Kimmel. Myself and Salvatore, we were talking about this earlier, at the hotel away from the hotel, about how the Allies are like a forgotten classic vodka drink. Beautiful. Lovely. Now, you want to go around the Russian cocktail, how was it? And it's quite it. Nice. It's just easy, eh? It's, it's like a little chocolate. Easy, please, simple, thinner, squaring, vodka, shake it up. Now, before I do a uh, pink martini, it's quite similar to like a cocktail, but it's got a bit of vermouth that in a subtle dryness. I want to do the balalaika, because I do like the balalaika. So, first of all, some egg whites into my mixing glass, followed by Lemon juice, I want about a shot or an ounce. In America, it would be an ounce, but let's see what we get here from the start. The half of them is giving me about 25 ml, 2.5 centiliters. That should be suffice. Some sugar syrup. I really need two bar spoons just to sweep it through. Then followed by my vodka which I leaked. Good. I'll measure going in. Followed by one off triple set. Curacao. You could use some uh, dry orange curacao. You could use some other different curacao. But I think just good old triple set will work just to suffice. Okay. Now, so I get this working out a little bit. The egg white, cropped up. I'm going to give it a little pre shake. So as we know now, I think we're going back to the old pre shake of the egg white, which fluffed it up a lot more, which I do like because it's been done for many years. It's nothing new. The Ramos brothers were shaking the Ramos Gym Fizz, you know, for 10 or 20 seconds before actually serving it with ice. If you shake a Ramos Gym Fizz with ice and egg white for 20 or 30 seconds, it's going to be very watery and horrible. So the pre shake is a good thing. And I say pre shake because there's this word going around saying dry shake. Now, I know it's silent because there's no ice in it, but I don't know how it's a dry shape because that's very wet. There's an egg white in there, it's quite slippery. It's as wet as slippery as the Amsterdam Red Light District, that is. So it's not dry at all. So it's just a pre shape. It's a flat shape. Hey, Misha.
Very, very simple, based on the classic formula of like a white lady, if you like, but using vodka. So a very, very significant classic as well.